So our starting point for this was in March 2022 with PHA UK. We conducted a large uh, UK-based survey online, um, which was later reported as uh, clinical trials, what matters to you. And we learned an, an awful lot from the 112 patients who took part in that, um, telling us what's important to patients, um, what's difficult in terms of taking part in research trials, um, and what we can do to help um, improve or facilitate patients taking part and getting over some of those burdens. So one thing that came out of that was uh, the six minute walk test, which I'm sure um, many patients across the UK are familiar with. When Sheffield patients do the, the shuttle walk test, which is a similar concept, is a great test, but it's not perfect. It's been around for um, the best part of, sort of 40, 50 years and hasn't changed. Um, it's really useful because we can use it in clinic and we can use it in trials to measure patients' progress over time. So for example, um, when patients remain well or even get better with drugs, we see the walking distance should get better. Um, but likewise, if patients um, start to deteriorate, then we can say that sometimes that the walk distance will start to get um, shorter over time. So it's really useful, but we know that it can be a bit of a challenge um, for some patients because walking for six minutes is a relatively long time. Um, we know that often it involves a travel into a specialist centre to conduct the test. It's exhausting and so on. So what we thought was, A, can we make the test shorter? And B, can we make it digital? So in terms of making the test shorter, when we look back at the original research papers from um, back in the early 1980s, we found that the six minute time frame was a bit of an arbitrary, a bit of a random choice. And it could have been one minute, it could have been 12 minutes, but it came out at six minutes as a bit of a compromise. And it has worked well, but we thought, well, should we go back and revisit that and look at doing a one minute walk test? So we took, we took about uh, 200 patient records from, from Papworth um, and we compared the distance walked in, in one minute versus six minutes. And we found that the one minute walk test is actually just as good as the six minute walk test. And so we were pretty confident that that could be a new way of doing the test. So the other advantage of doing the one minute walk test means that it's much more uh, practical to do it in the community. So then what we did was worked with, um, again, PHA uh, and a tech company called Aparito to uh, develop an app linked into a wearable uh, Garmin watch to start to do walk tests in the community, six minute walk tests or one minute walk tests. And again, the one minute walk test seems to do really well, um, both from a technical, um, sort of medical scientific point of view, but also in terms of usability. Um, patients report that they generally prefer walking for a, short, for a shorter time frame, um, and also are very happy to do it in a digital format from a home to avoid that travel into the specialist centres. So, so far, um, that's what we've managed to um, publish in the American Journal of Respiratory and Critical Care Medicine um, in January 2024. Um, the fact that the test looks technically accurate and um, patients so far report that the usability um, is quite good. But that's really just the starting point. We've got lots more work to do on this. Um, we need to, to validate it in other situations, in more patients, um, so we've got ongoing studies um, in Patworth in Cambridge, um, but also in other centres across the UK as well to start to, um, to work out how we can use this new test. And the other challenge is, um, is taking a, a 40 or 50 year history and trying to convince colleagues and, and patients as well that, that doing something new um, is also potentially better. And sometimes that, that change can take time. Um, but we're hopeful that by taking this really centered, this really patient-centered approach and to understand not only what's good for the trials and, and clinic, but what is good for patients will help, help to, to make the difference here. So the research is ongoing. Um, we're excited and uh, we thank everyone who's taken part. We're really grateful for, for your time and, and obviously the support from PHA UK as well. So we are still at the fairly early stages of um, developing this new uh, digital test for pulmonary hypertension and we've got a long way to go. So we need to do more studies, um, involve more patients, um, we need to pass it through the, the regulatory authorities as well who need to um, look at the data and hopefully eventually rubber stamp it. But these things take a long time. So I wouldn't expect any dramatic change um, over the next few months or even years. But gradually over time we might start to see whether it's this test or at least something similar, um, we'll start to see a change um, hopefully in clinic and also the way that we do clinical trials. So watch this space.